reader friends hello book besties it's your girl erica aka paperback girly welcome or welcome back to the channel your girl just turned 25 a couple days ago and i wanted to do some book shopping for my birthday i had some free time and i thought that i would drive to a different location than i typically go to and do some birthday book shopping today i think i'm gonna try to make a lemonade post here today as well so if you are on lemonade feel free to find me my name is paperback girly on there and show me some love
Let's just take it slowly 늦은 어떤 때 같은 곳을 바라보고 있잖아 Go anywhere you want to Underneath the passion I Wish I knew it to fly all the way from tomorrow. 이제는 너무 멀리 와 버렸던 거야. Yeah, I I I need you, you 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 need me too. I'm still chasing that mind all the time. Yeah, I I I need you, you 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 need. Me. shopping videos or just book shopping in general over the next week or so and so I think I'm going to just haul what I got in today's video right now and then whenever I do my other book shopping videos I will do another big book haul. I honestly did not go to Barnes with a plan. A lot of the books that I want are self-published books or indie published books and so a lot of them are not in my local Barnes or really any Barnes and so I'm very excited to do the San Diego County book crawl event that's happening. It's going from the 29th to like the 3rd or 5th or something like that. The first book, I really sat and contemplated a lot about this book because I think I already have like three different copies including this one that I bought today. This is a beautiful edition of It Ends With Us, exclusive collector's edition slash re-release. It is a hardcover, which, you know, I am a paperback girly, so I was splurging with this purchase, but it has a beautiful monogram of her signature, it has beautiful front pages, and then each of the chapters have a gorgeous, design on it. And so as a book collector and you know I do have my own Colleen Hoover section. Once I buy or get some bookshelves, actual like book cases, I'm sure it'll find its place. These next two books I feel like they give off the same vibe and I think that these could be like a way for me to sh switch up my read. So the first one is All's Well by Mona Awad. I read Bunny last year which was my first Mona Awad book and as bizarre and chaotic as that book was I really really liked it it left me perplexed and so I thought I would try out something else by the same author and so I picked up all as well and then my year of Re rest and relaxation by Otessa Moshfeg I feel like this is a good read to read especially because I just turned 25 it takes place in the year 2000 so I think that could be interesting once upon a broken heart is a book that I've seen all over my book to. I did not know that it was on paperback. Again, I'm a paperback girly, so whenever I saw this was on paperback, I said, uh, yes, thank you. I'll take that one. It's very beautiful. It's very pretty, and this is also the exclusive edition, so it's cool that they have a paperback exclusive edition because typically they only have hardcover exclusive editions. And then the last two books I got, the first being The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. I decided to pick up this book because I know this is a newer release. 
I have not read a Lynn Painter yet, and I think this is a new adult book. I've heard a lot about Lynn Painter from her YA books. I've been seeing this in a couple different places, and whenever I saw it, it was one of the only ones that I was able to find. I wasn't particularly looking out for this book, but I'm happy that I found it, and so I definitely will be reading this rather soon. Lastly, I picked up Killjoy, which is a good girl, a good girl's guide to murder. I think this is like the prequel to the first book, and I'm about to read the first book in the next couple days. And so I thought, why not read this as well? Wow, it's so short that they include a bunch of the like the first three chapters of the second book of the first book it's crazy it's barely over a hundred pages these are the books that i have gotten from barnes and nobles today i guess you can consider this my birthday book haul i just wanted to take some time today to treat myself to a couple books that have been on my mind but i think i'm absolutely most excited for the san diego county book crawl because i love going into indie bookstores there's a couple in D bookstores on the list that I've already been to and visited before and I'm so excited to visit them again. One being the Meet Cute Bookshop and then also Diesel, a bookstore. Those two I've already fell in love with and so I can't wait to find even more gems. I'm also definitely going to be dedicating a whole video probably if I can to Warwick's which is San Diego's oldest independently owned bookstore. I think it's been open since the 1800s so I'm so excited to go there. I've been there once before and I'm very excited to bring you guys along with me as well because it's just gonna be a fun time. Thank you guys so much for accompanying me today in the video. I hope you enjoyed the bookstore vlog and spending some time with me. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace!